Yeah, gonna have it warm. No, I'm good because I know exactly what would happen. It would get stuck in my throat and I'd be happy to call it off. It's not as good, no, it's not all popcorn. Well, that is true. It's better, it's a different kind of Different kind of popcorn. I usually popcorn. You can try it. No, I'm good. If it looks on your paper towel, you'll have it later if you're ready. I'm good. Are you sure? I am good, yeah. I'll, I'll probably buy a pack to take home, actually. So. I don't need this much. It's going to bring some time off, but I don't know if you deserve You'll see the delay can be the bird. Yeah. All right, well, welcome to the Healthy Cooking Show. My name is Bert. Uh, from here on out, I will be your personal chef. And I got your name, Sarah. You are Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Right. Well, welcome. Uh, what is your oh, connection? Oh, okay. Yep. Right. Very cool. What do you do, Thomas? Uh, landscaping, farming, that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Um, I have no skills in farming. Uh, I would love to live off grid, but I can't farm, and I'm mechanically challenged, and my wife kills every plant that I give her. So uh, between the two of us, we'd make it about a week. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it is a goal. So. All right. Anyway, uh, so you cook sometimes. Yep. Do you like to cook, Sarah? When you have time. When you have time. Okay. Um, everything I'm going to show you today is about getting in and out of the kitchen quickly. I love to cook, but I don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. So we specialize in the 15-minute meal. That's what I'm going to show you here today. Uh, but it's also about cooking the foods that we love without having to worry about fat size and much dough and all that nasty stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to actually start by remaking the salad. Okay, so I have some for the next crowd coming in. Now I'm using this guy here. It's called a kitchen cutter. Big suction cup on the bottom. Put that down on any hard flat surface. You throw the lever down the back. Sucks is down with over 600 pounds of suction. Uh, now, if you drive like I do, Thomas, you keep this in the trunk of the car. That way you can pop the dents out. And then it's back here. Don't do that. That's not what it's made to do. Uh, let me show you what it does do. Uh, we're going to start with some carrots over here. And I thoroughly scrubbed and washed my veggies, but I haven't peeled them. You guys know why we should not peel our veggies. I usually do because there's dirt running in front Oh, yeah, sometimes there are. Lots of nutrition in the skin. That's exactly right. Uh, now, do you know why I don't usually peel my own? No, oh, because I'm lazy. Oh. <laughs> That's why I have a sloth as my mascot up here. Um, yeah. So, I like it quick. Now, uh, you guys like saving money? Okay. Here's a great way to save money. Your pre-cut veggies usually cost about four times as much as your whole carrots or other vegetables. So, when you do it yourself, you're going to save a lot of money. Um, now, have you ever opened up a bag of free shredded veggies and they smell like they've been there a week? Yeah, you know why? Lettuce, yeah. Because yeah, they've been there a week. Now. So, <laughs> so, when we do it ourselves, we get better tasting, less expensive, fresher food. Simple as that. Okay. Now, fingers in here, you don't get cut. Fingers on top, you don't get cut. Fingers down in here, you get cut really badly. Don't do that. Now, it does come with a safety guard you can put over the top, kind of like training wheels. I'm assuming you haven't had your training wheels for a while yet. Um, yeah, so use it a couple times, you don't really need it. But we do have that option available to you. Uh, now, have any of you ever heard of waterless cookware before? Waterless what? Waterless cookware. Okay. Uh, a lot of people haven't, because until recently, the only way to get it was through an in-home party. Someone came out to your house, did a little show like I'm going today, and at the end of those shows, we used to give the kitchen cutter to the host as a thank you for letting us in. We don't really do that much anymore, but if you stick around to the end, I will show you how you can get one for free. Now, let me introduce you to our cookware itself. It is called Kitchen Craft. Waterless and greaseless cookware. They're made out of 100% Pennsylvania metal since 1906. No, I did not invent it. Um, been in the world's best cookware numerous times throughout our history, and we're really proud of that. Now, are you guys health conscious? Somewhat. Obviously, try to be. Yeah. obviously she is. Mostly, not always. Oh, look. Well, you're riding a bike, so not very much. You do what you can, right? Uh, you, you fall more into the uh, just barely conscious category, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to throw some carrots in here, because carrots are high in beta carotene. It's actually the world's first known cancer fighter. We'll put a bunch of those down in there. Then we'll do whatever great cooking show does, which is reach behind us and pull up stuff we already cut. Now, do you guys like corn on the cob? I don't, actually, no. You, you're a farmer and you don't like corn. I like corn much, no. That's... I like broccoli. I love cooked broccoli. Or cooked broccoli. Chinese style, yeah. All right. Well, we'll get you some good broccoli then. I love corn on the cob. Now, there's rumor about it, but it's not all that healthy for you. That is, in fact, rumor. It contains a natural blood sugar stabilizer, so if you're a diabetic, it can actually be very helpful for you. The problem is how we cook it. When we boil our corn, the water turns all milky and white. I just said I didn't like corn. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're eating corn. corn. Top, like didn't you just say it's too sweet? No, so, I did. Oh, you I did. Don't like sweet corn either. Oh, okay. I was going to say he's eating corn with like sugar. Corn. On. I like baby corn. Yeah, yeah. So we never want to boil our veggies because the water turns all milky and white. It's all the good stuff. Like now we're going to add some yellow squash. Why is it called yellow squash? Because it's yellow. That is exactly right. You win the prize. I didn't catch your name, sir. Oh, that's all right. I need the prize. It's just a juicer. All right. 
Man doesn't want a free juicer. Long time. Juicer, yeah. There'll be another opportunity for you to win one. So pay attention. All right. Yellow squash has twice the vitamin C of an orange. Really good for you. Uh, zucchini has vitamin E. Good for your skin. Only has 15 calories a quarter pound. You can eat that all day long and not gain weight. Uh, now, Sarah, do you like broccoli? Good. Broccoli is the number one vegetable for retarding breast cancer. So, really good for the ladies and every guy's favorite now. And we're going to top it off with some red bell pepper. Not only because it's delicious and it's just, but because we eat with our eyes. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but it has actually been proven there are two colors which make us hungry. One of them is red. What's the other one? Close. Yellow. There's our winner. Oh, you are welcome. Yeah, yellow. Uh, if you want proof, all you can do is drive down highway and look at every fast food restaurant sign. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Chick Fil A, Pizza Hut. They're all red and yellow. Not by accident. They actually did millions of dollars in research. Figure out what makes you hungry, eat you pull over, spend your money. Now, do you guys know? You probably do. What's the difference between a red bell pepper and a green one? Red one's right. Red one is right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, so you peppers, it's just the red ones are right. You stick the big end into your orange or white, oh, okay. and then you squeeze it. Thank you. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the red ones are right. Now, most people eat the green ones, though, because they're cheaper. We buy them in the store cheaper. Uh, the red ones have seven times nutrition value. They're sweeter, they're better tasting, they're better for you. Okay. Yeah, but they cost more. So we get what we pay for, bottom line. Now, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bet it is. Sorry, the closer you are, the more food you get. So, now if we were making that at home, what's the normal next step? What do we add? Uh, well, water. water. Yeah, water is the answer I'm looking for today. Uh, now, we can add a little bit and we can steam them or we can add a lot and boil them. Unfortunately, the difference is not as much as you would think. Uh, when we steam our veggies, we're still losing about 40% of the nutrition. When we boil them, we're losing about 60. Okay? So we never want to add water to our vegetables. Uh, now, Thomas, when guys cook, what temperature do we typically use? You're being too specific. Medium? Most right. guys. Most guys just crank it. Yeah. yeah, just gotta get out of the kitchen. Crank it. Your mom. Did I like? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not yeah. So we boil or we steam our veggies. You know, 10, 15 minutes or so. 220, 240 degrees. Uh, what do we do with that juice afterwards? Yeah, we dump it out. What's in the juice? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. It's all the good stuff. It's all our vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, cancer fighters, uh, and my personal favorite part, the flavor. And we spend good money on our veggies, unless we're growing them, then we spend good labor on our veggies. Uh, we shouldn't waste any of it. 15 seconds in the water, and that's how quickly it dissolves a lot of that nutrition. Okay. So imagine what happens after you boil them, right? So, we drained off all the water. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these on the stove. If you did that at home, what would happen? Yeah, you'd burn the veggies, you'd scorch the pan. Now that's not going to happen today because of the construction of our cookware. Plus we're going to cook on low heat. We're going to cook on medium to low is all you ever need to know. Alright. Um, now I do need an assistant chef, Sarah, since you're the closest. I choose you. You can actually stay right there. Really easy job. All you need to do is let me know when the pan reaches 180 degrees. So when you can't, when you can't hold your tongue on it anymore, that's about right. No, I'm just uh, in about four minutes, you're going to see some water vapor start to escape from that pan. Uh, at that point, let me know, because those veggies are ready to come off the stove. I'll be cooking an egg soon if, if uh, your puppy likes eggs, if you want to stick around. Come on, join our show. i got free salads right there, too. Um, so, uh, where's the water going to come from that we're going to see steaming out of there? Vegetables? Yeah, from the vegetables oh. themselves. Yeah, vegetables are mostly water. We don't need to add more water to them to cook them. Uh, now that number though, 180 degrees is actually really important because according to Johns Hopkins University Prevention Magazine, every major study that's been done will tell you there are two things which destroy the nutrition in our food, water and high heat. We're going to eliminate both of them. So, some people say, people don't keep them above 110 when Right, yeah. They just dehydrate and they Right, yeah. But, oh. well, yeah, that's better than really high heat. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make some carrots the old fashioned way, the boiled way. Uh, I'm using an all-clad pan, I don't know if you've ever heard of all-clad, really good stuff. It's actually a $275 pan, it'll last you the rest of your life, it is worth every penny. We'll add in our little beta carotene booster shot there, and when mine are done, we'll throw those on, we'll uh, boil them up real quick, and we'll do a side-by-side -side taste test, you can tell me which ones you like better. But, we're doing our 15 minutes again, so let's get back to our salad. Uh, I'm guessing that Sarah does, but Thomas, do you eat a freshly made salad every day? Not every day, it's not every day. You think it's right off the table, but there you go. That's all right. 
Uh, most people don't. Most people eat what I call a honeymoon salad. You familiar with honeymoon salad? That's lettuce alone with very little dressing. Yes. Now, now the only thing worse than that joke is the salad itself. You go to a restaurant, you spend six or seven bucks on a salad, you get half a head of lettuce, cherry tomato, slice of onion. What's the nutritional value in that salad? And not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, stir fries are going really good for us. Uh, what does it take up all the time to make a stir fry? Cutting up your veggies. Uh, not anymore. Now, I like to do potatoes or sweet potatoes, throw them on a baking sheet, 415 degrees for about 13 minutes or so. And you sprinkle whatever you like on top of it, it makes a perfect healthy snack. Okay. Now, fingers in here, you don't get cut. Fingers on top, you don't get cut. Fingers down in here, you get. They've, they've heard my show a number of times. Yes, chef salad. That is correct. Uh, now, you can't throw these in the dishwasher. 90% of the time, though, all you gotta do is rinse them off. A little bit of soap and water, and you're good to go. Now, do you guys like coleslaw? Okay. Uh, do you still make your own? Using the old knuckle cluster? Yeah. Oh, no. You don't make that level. Here's another great way to save money. Uh, cabbage, when you buy it by the head, uh, it's usually somewhere around 80, 90 cents a pound. Uh, but if you walk 10 feet down the aisle, your bags are pre shredded. Now all of a sudden you're paying four bucks a pound. Uh, they charge you five times as much. Someone took five seconds to do all that hard work. Run it down to that last layer, that's the one with all your pesticides and stuff. Why not throw it away? Now, raw cabbage, for us guys, Thomas, twice a week reduces our risk of prostate cancer by about 50%. Yeah. So eat your cabbage. Now, the red cabbage, you're a farmer. Why is it called red cabbage? It's red, it's magenta, it's not red. Yeah, uh, I've been told, uh, because I'm not a farmer, I don't know, but I was told that when it's underground, it's actually more red. So it turns purple okay. when it gets above ground. Yeah, you're in there. Yeah. yeah. So, a um, little more expensive, a little better for us, high in vitamins A and C. It's also a good source of iron, if you have anyone with an iron deficiency. And uh, makes a salad look like it was made by Prince. So, that's a cool thing. Um, who likes onions? Okay. Who likes chopping onions? Not really. Yeah, no. Here's the trick. Leave the outer layers on. That's the those are the ones where the gases go up and make you cry. So you just run it down to those outer layers and you throw them away. Now you got shredded onion without any tears. Right. You guys like to cut or so far? Would you take one if it was a free gift? Right. Stick around. We'll get there. Right. What is everybody's least favorite part of celery? Strings, nature's dental floss, right? Yeah. Come here, CC. You got pizza stuck in there. Um, yeah. Now I have a friend who's convinced when he gets to heaven, God's gonna tell him we were never supposed to eat it in the first place. And I had one woman tell me she didn't like it because it tastes like feet. Oh my I don't even know what that means. Um, I don't know what she's eating feet. I don't say feet smell like celery. Be awesome. If that was, if that was what feet smell like, that'd be great. I never thought of that one before. Um, put the strings to the back of the hopper. We're going to take off all the nice celery meat. Perfect for soup, stew, salad, Thanksgiving stuffing. Or to put in your sneakers and make your feet smell like... Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, good job. She had, she had one job. And you took it from her. Uh, now we got celery with no strings attached. Okay, you can do veggie awareness week if you want. <laughs> All right, so first thing I want you to notice over there, I'm not panicking. Okay, there's no water near to boil over. You're not going to be sitting in the living room and here go, right? All I'm going to do is give the lid a spin. If it continues to spin on its own, that means you're ready to come off the stove. All right, they're ready. So the water vapor from the vegetables fills in that little reservoir, creates a vapor lock seal. That lid wow, will now actually lock into place. They'll continue to cook while they sit over here off the stove. Right, we've got one last ingredient for our salad. That's cheese plant. You guys like cheese plant? Stop giving away all the answers over there. Yes, it is butter to the squash. But we call it cheese plant because when we run it through here, it oh. looks like shredded cheese. Oh, that's our favorite one, yeah. So you put that on top of the salad, you don't tell anyone, they'll eat it for a month before they figure it out. Uh, now you can use this to shred your cheese at home. Buy it in the block. I recommend you freeze it for a little bit. Stick quite so much. Run it down through. You're going to get more volume, which means cheaper. And it's going to taste better. Uh, I don't know if you know this. When you buy cheese at the store, they have to put chemicals in that bag to keep it from clumping back together. Okay? So when we do it ourselves, you get better tasting, less expensive, fresher food. Simple as that. Not too shabby for a couple minutes of work. How long would that take you with the old uh, knuckle buster there? Wow. Wow. It's been a while, and hopefully you bought the deluxe version.
I cut my nail on those ones. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's horrible, horrible. Now we got that recipe out of Prevention Magazine, and according to them, if you eat that salad two or three times a week on average, uh, you're going to reduce your risk of all internal cancer by the 84%. Now, starting when you're little, though. Start. Well, yeah. Wonder the, how, or we start, the yeah. sooner you start, the better, for sure. <laughs> um, that's why CC's starting tomorrow. She's getting all her pizza in today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I make one on Sunday. It'll last my family till Wednesday. I make one on Wednesday. It lasts till Sunday. I take 10 minutes out of my week to reduce my family's risk of cancer by 84%. I got 10 minutes to do that. But the key is you got to have the right tool. Uh, would you rather cut down a tree with a hacksaw or a chainsaw? <laughs> No, I cut it down. I had one guy actually said, blow it up. Dynamite. <laughs> okay, well, you could do that. Uh, Sounds yeah. like a redneck. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so, I grew up in Pennsylvania. I thought we were the most redneck area I've ever been to. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Um, I'm selling some imagine a fair in Kansas. I don't know, that would be almost a bad. I mean, I don't know, that would be This would be like every festival. Right. <laughs> so, obviously, it's a chainsaw. This is the chainsaw of the kitchen. Um, so, the other thing is the tax yeah. Yeah. Now, um, are you a tool guy? Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you buy tools at Walmart? Not usually, no. no. Why not? I, I don't know, I don't need them, but they might break too. Yeah. yeah. I like sure. to buy them a series of them closing all right. the place. Right, yeah, yeah, Craftsman was really good. Now, I think they, they uh, recontracted with Lowe's or Home Depot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we don't buy tools at Walmart because they're cheap and they're going to break. Same is true of our kitchen tools. We shouldn't buy those dirty. Right. This is an industrial kitchen tool. We sell a lot of them to nursing homes and facilities that use them every day, all day long. Okay? It's an industrial kitchen tool. It should be treated as such. Now, do you guys know what's the most expensive room in the house? Kitchen. It is the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, if you've done a recent remodel, usually somewhere between 25 and 50 grand. Even if you're not doing that, though, oh, I forgot to throw these on. CC, come on. You know my show by now. You ought to know this. Um, this is, I will get this one. Um, so, uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. When it comes to the most important thing in our kitchen, what we cook our food in, that's when we usually end up throwing cheap. You know, most of our houses, we have a $600 Vitamix, $350, and then a $200 bread maker. Uh, you're a vegan, do you juice? I don't. Okay. Uh, I have a friend who's super healthy, and that's his thing. And I know you can spend a lot of money on a juicer. Okay, so, just check it. Uh, but yeah, so, in general, though, a lot of people don't spend a lot of money. <laughs> now, you, now you can do it. Yeah. yeah. For most people, this is what they buy, and they put in their kitchen. But they spend $25,000 on their kitchen. Okay? Um, now here's the sad reality. Just like our Walmart tools, most expensive set of cookware you'll ever You just gotta go and keep buying some of it over and over again. Now your copper bottom ones, they'll actually last a pretty long time. What I don't like about copper bottoms, they tend to be thin. You get hot spots, food sticks, get you sprays, oils, and butter. You're married to the stove, okay? Uh, with our cookware, we cook our veggies without water. We cook our uh, meats without any additional sprays, oils, or butter. You literally throw it in and walk away. Now do you have any rock and roll pans at home? Kind of your on the stove? Yeah. They're usually cheaply made and they work. Uh, usually made overseas, never have a warranty. Either over it or you throw it out and buy new one. Uh, now, cast iron is actually a really good cooking oven. When it gets hot, it stays hot. Gives you a nice even heat every time. Uh, nothing in the world better for making uh, popcorn. Popcorn. I was going to say cornbread. Yeah, corn. <laughs> cornbread. Yeah. Uh, what do you need to do with them when you first get them home? Season. A little bit of oil, put them in the oven, supposed to make them nonstick. Uh, now I had one guy say, you can't make fun of cast iron, I got mine from my grandmother, and every time I cook it, it tastes just like her cooking. Oh. I guess some of it still is her cooking. <laughs> uh, that is the one downside, cast iron. It's a little tricky to keep clean, so uh, a lot of people are afraid to do it because they don't want to end up looking like that. So instead, uh, they just, when they throw it on the stove, they crank up the heat to kill the bacteria. But when you do that, you're also killing the healthy enzymes in your food. And uh, recent studies indicate uh, high heat in cast iron creates what's called hydrocarbons and actually give you an irritable bowel if you're not careful. In general though, if you use it right, I like cast iron. Uh, let's talk about everybody's favorite, Teflon. Um, I'm assuming you guys don't have any of this stuff at home. I hope not. Uh, now you can get all plaids versions for $2,000 a set. You can get the Walmart ones for $20. Bucks. It doesn't matter what color they're painting them. If they're black or green or copper, if it's a color, it's a chemical, it's paint. Okay. Also, it doesn't matter uh, if you spend 20 bucks or 200 bucks. What are you supposed to do when it starts to come on? Throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah. 
There are millions of these pens floating around in our landfills. Uh, help me find one of my pens in the landfill. FDA released a study literally last month talking about our toxic landfills, how it's making our water uh, toxic, and also our bloodstreams. We're now finding 5,000 chemicals in our bloodstream, and the number one source is COVID-19. Horrible, horrible stuff. But most people, you buy your pen for 20 bucks, and you throw it out next year, and you buy another one, you do it year after year after year. 35 years of buying this pen, though, 20 bucks, it's not really a $20 pen. It's really a $700 pen. Well, you pay for it, you just didn't think about it. Now that coating, it's actually more my concern. Uh, if you have pet birds, you literally can't cook in this. Your birds will drop dead. Uh, DuPont makes a Teflon currently being sued. They've linked at least six different diseases to this stuff. And uh, if you want to have fun, Google the words uh, Teflon and shrinkage. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> now, they are still on the market, though, because most people, myself included, like to have a non-stick pan. Okay. Uh, have you guys ever tried to fry an egg in a stainless steel pan? You have. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, typically, you have to fry two extra eggs just to get enough to eat, right? <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let these guys cool off. All they do is fry an egg real quick. Now, there's one exception to our rule, no sprays or oils. Uh, when we cook meats, that exception is eggs. Uh, egg whites don't have enough fat, so we do have to help them out just a little bit. So I like to use olive oil, and I prefer to use the spray. So I can use a little bit of that. What's that? I said this is the sad part of the show. <laughs> <It's all laughs> the They're going to lay the egg whether we like it or not. Right? So, um, we'll just drop an egg in there real quick and we'll wrap this up. Last piece of cookware I'm talking about today is aluminum. It's the number one selling cookware in America for a number of reasons. First of all, it's really cheap. Okay? Uh, you can get aluminum at all your big box stores. Uh, second of all, uh, aluminum is a really good conductor. Heat heats up really fast, burns heat out really quickly. And third, you'll find aluminum pans in every restaurant, kitchen you ever eat at. Now, why is that a problem? Do you know what diseases have been linked to aluminum? Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is the big one. Uh, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's, breast cancer, uh, recently autism. All sorts of different studies out there. Now, the Alzheimer's study I read, they looked at brains of people who died from Alzheimer's compared to people who died of other things. If they had Alzheimer's, on average, they had eight times the amount of aluminum in their brain. Now, we don't know if it's all linked to cookware, but I'll show you this real quick. A little scotch bright pad here. Snip off a little piece of it. All right, what do we have next, Cece? Tap water. <laughs> Uh, now, your uh, aluminum pan always starts out nice and shiny when you buy them at the store. Over time, though, they will start to gray and tarnish unless you cook foods that are high in acid. What foods are high in acid? Lemon. They got it. Yeah, the big one that we talk about a lot is tomatoes. We cook a lot of stuff with tomatoes, especially in the time. Okay. Um, so, that aluminum in your food actually interacts with the pan. And it's going to strip off a thin layer, but that's why the pan will get shiny. Okay. So, where does the aluminum go? Where's the food go? Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't know if all the different studies about aluminum and disease are true or not. But I am a chef. And I do know every time we cook in this, every time we go out to eat in a restaurant, we're getting some of that aluminum in our system. Now here's the part that really bothers you. You guys have cats or dogs? Okay. Uh, if you go to Petco or PetSmart, you can't buy an aluminum dog to eat. It's made out of metal and stainless steel. Uh, it was about 75 years ago, they started noticing that cats and dogs were getting cancer on their tongue and in their mouth. What does your dog or cat do to the bowl once it finishes the food? Wow. It's like you've been here before. Yeah, they lick it. And they're going to lick and lick and lick until they can't get anything else out of that pan. So all those cats and dogs were licking that aluminum into their mouth and it was giving them cancer. So they said, you can't sell that as a dog fish anymore. You literally can't feed your dog out of them. We feed our families out of them all the time. Now, if you're thinking, I don't have any aluminum, 9 out of 10 of these are aluminum. Uh, your top or bottom is anodized aluminum. It's actually mixed right And if you're buying stainless steel from anywhere overseas, uh, it can be a bit of a crapshoot. Uh, Chinese stainless steel only has to have about 25% stainless steel to get that name. Alright, let's see how we did with our egg. That slip slides around in there better than any Teflon coat of pan ever would. Here's the best part though, it'll do that on day one and it'll do it on day 10,001. Because there's no coating in there that's ever going to come off. It will always make those eggs perfectly. Alright, sir, this is your big part of the show. Just tilt your head back, open up. <laughs>
Don't worry, I'm an expert. <laughs> expert. Right. Actually, I like to save the eggs and feed the puppies. Does that make it better? If I'm feeding the puppies. Yes. Yeah, I like to feed the therapy dogs that come by because they're working hard. All right. Bucket of cold soapy water back here. It's the easiest cookware in the world to clean. Uh, now, I just dipped a hot pan into cold water. Why is that normally not a good idea? Crack, crack, crack. Typically, that's how you warp them, though. That's how you get your rock and roll pan. You will never warp this pan. Uh, we recently had some that came back into our offices to get new knobs and handles put on because they had melted them clean off. Now, our knobs and handles can go in the oven up to 400 degrees as long as you preheat. So we were a little confused as to how they managed to do that. Unfortunately for them, their house is one of the ones out in the California wildfire. So it was like 1,200 degrees. Uh. Melted the knobs up. <laughs> the pan itself still held its shape. You will never work this pan. If you do somehow, we will give you more. Simple as that. So, our egg was done in three minutes. Our dishes are done in three seconds. You don't need to spend all day scrubbing pots and pans. Now, the reason most stainless steel pans stick is because this is what they look like. They're too thin. You're going to get hot spots all day long. Okay, this is what ours looks like. It's got seven layers of metal, including a layer of magnetic steel, um, cast iron. We use the magnetic steel because that allows it to work on induction. Plus, it'll give you a nice, even heat, keeps you from getting hot spots, and it holds heat really well. Now, we wrap that in three layers of aluminum. Now, why in the world we use aluminum? I just told you it's horrible. Well, we use aluminum because it's a good conductor. It heats up really quickly, spreads heat out really fast. But, to get the nice non-stick, it's not touching your food. That's exactly right, because we've got three layers of what's called T304. Uh, so the only thing that's ever going to touch your food is 100% pure surgical grade stainless steel. It is the same th stuff they put in your knee or your hip if you get those replaced. It is virtually indestructible. Our warranty is basically the same thing you get when you spend a couple grand on a set of Craftsman or Snap. Oh, oh. Uh, what's Craftsman's warranty? For life? Yeah, it's lifetime. Yeah. We laser engrave our information on the side of every pan. If it ever works or buckles, if the knobs break, you find a way to hurt it, we'll replace it for free. But not just for your lifetime. This is actually heirloom quality stuff you can pass on to kids and grandkids, and a guarantee goes with it. Now, if you're thinking something like that sounds expensive, you're right, it is. If you want cheap, Walmart's literally right over there. Okay? Um, we get what we pay for. Uh, I spent the last couple nights at the red carpet inn in Horseheads. You get what you pay for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's my favorite thing about everything you see up here. It is all proudly 100% made, manufactured, assembled right there. Good old US of A. Every piece of metal comes from out near Pittsburgh. Even the boxes that we ship in are American made. We employ over 9,000 Americans, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Now, are any couple guys just walked up here? Any of you guys veterans? Okay. Um, we can do this real quick. Uh, we're the only cookware company in the world that can place military insignia on our hardware. We can do that because the Pentagon certified us 100% American made, and we do that free for our veterans. Is the Space Force on there? Space Force is not currently on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, all right. Nice big wow. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Voila! Wow. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Okay. My broccoli doesn't look like it just got discharged from the army. Uh, I've got some nice reds and yellows. Does it smell good, Sarah? Yeah. All right. Now, if it tastes good, we got something special. Right? Vegetables. There we go. Now, I had one guy say he liked to buy American made, but it always costs more, to which I say, of course it does. It's quality always costs more. Because uh, you get craftsmanship. Our lid doubles as a hot plate. You can serve the food right out of it. Our lids also. Making me a liar here. There we go. Lock into place. You can hang your cookware up. If someone bumps into it, doesn't fall off. Uh, it's all dishwasher safe, oven safe to 400 as long as you preheat. It. It'll work on any stove. And I share a little bit of a princess. Somewhat. Somewhat. Right. Well, now you can uh, serve her up on a silver platter. There you go. And again, easiest cookware in the world to clean. Okay, you got here late, sir. We took these vegetables in here without any water. If you did that in any other pan, your pan would be black. It would take you 20 minutes to clean. A little bit of soap and water on a sponge. Okay, nothing will ever permanently stick to the T304. What kind of metals are, is it made out of? What's the other iron and what's it's nickel? T304. No, Surgical no, stainless steel. Yeah, yeah I, you'd have to look it up, honestly. I don't know. much different elements. Right. Yep. Steel is right. an actual element. Now, do you guys drink coffee? Yep. Only if it's, you know, organically grown and, and <laughs> you just don't it. like it. Okay. Yeah, we had that conversation about alcohol too. Right? Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> in general, I'm not a coffee. I'm becoming one because I've been a soda holic my entire life, and I know that's horrible for me. The coffee's at least supposedly better every other year. It depends on which study, right? <laughs> anyway, I want you to think about how we make coffee. We would take hot water and we pour it over coffee grounds. Uh, what do we do with the coffee grounds afterwards? We throw them away. If we're really good, we put them in the garden. Okay. Uh, what do we do with the water that we poured over the coffee grounds? We drink it. Yeah, that's the yummy stuff. Okay. We've been taught to do the exact opposite with our vegetables. That is everything that was good about your carrot. That's all your vitamins and minerals and flavor. We take that, we dump it down the drain, and we hop in the car, we drive over to Walmart or Walgreens, and we buy vitamins to replace the ones that we just dump down the drain. It's silly, but it's what we do all the time. Dr. Mayo from Mayo Clinic once said if our kitchen sink had a digestive system, we'd be the healthiest member of the family. <laughs> Instead, we take what we would normally throw out, and we feed that to the kids, and we wonder why they don't like veggies. All right, time for the taste test. Deluxe cutlery, got a little hole there. Just shoot out a toothpick or two to pass them around. Now, we're going to start with the carrots that we boiled. I didn't realize you've all had a boiled carrot before, uh, but we're going to side-by-side -side taste test. So, so snap the carrot, give them a try. Don't expect a ton of flavor out of them. You want to try some, sir? All right. You're missing the best part, free food. Yeah, it's pretty bland. <laughs> pretty bland, right? That's that's the answer I'm always looking for. What do we add to them to make them taste good? Butter and salt, right? And we sit around and we wonder why we can't lose weight. <laughs> Doctor told me to eat vegetables. <laughs> now, I'm not saying don't use butter and salt, but I'm saying if the food tasted better to begin with, then we use less. Of course. All right, so let's try these guys. Now start with the carrot, okay? You've had 100 of them. Go now, start with the carrots. So you get the side-by-side -side taste test, and then we can try some of the other stuff. Better. Better? Yeah. What's the main difference? Carrot flavor. Flavor, yeah. See, our minds recognize it as flavor, our bodies recognize it as nutrition. It's all the good stuff still in the food. Go ahead and try some of the other stuff. Now you're going to notice that the carrots taste like carrots, the broccoli tastes like broccoli, and the flavors didn't all intermingle because it wasn't sitting in a puddle of water for 20 minutes. Um, now I know you're not a big. Oh wait, no, you're the corn. You're the I don't like corn. Yeah. So try the corn. I don't like it. No, I like red pepper. You still don't eat the cup. No, you still don't eat the cup. Yeah. I mean, you. I guess technically you could. It might not. Might not feel good coming out the other end. <laughs> Okay. Now normally when I used to eat corn on the cob, you lay out the stick of butter, right? And go across the top. Okay. Do you really need butter on that corn? <laughs> no, it's good just the way it is. Um, when we cook it right, it tastes better. And now I do need to be honest, I did hand pick these vegetables for you. From Walmart. Yeah. And I do that on purpose because I want you to realize it doesn't matter whether you're growing them yourself or if you're getting them at Walmart, if you cook them right, they taste good. Okay. So Real simple question. Uh, if you can only eat from one of these plates for the rest of your life, which one you choose? Which one tastes better? Which one's healthier? Which one took less time to cook? See, once we've had them side by side, we realize we don't really like this stuff. It's just all we've ever known for most of us. Now, I, I like to point this out, and I'm not making fun of all clad. Okay? All clad is a really good, durable beef. It really is. However, a boiled carrot out of a $275 all clad pan tastes is like a boiled carrot out of a $10 Walmart one. You're cooking the same way. Uh, you can't cook without water or oil in this pan, you'll ruin it. That's the difference. All right. Now, we didn't even talk about savings. When we cook waterless, we're cooking half the time, half the temperature, which means we are saving energy. But what are we really saving? We're saving money, right? A dollar per meal. So, uh, if you cook one meal a day waterless, you're saving $365 a day. Are you eating the toothpick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I have water. Okay. Uh, save three hundred sixty-five dollars a year. If you just cook one meal a day waterless. The average family, if you skip one meal eating out for a week because your food tastes better, uh, over a ten-year period, between the two savings, you're going to save nineteen thousand dollars in ten years. And it adds up really, really quickly. You're going to pay for your cookware many, many times over. All right. So I realize you might have sat down for today simply to try the food, and that's okay. Uh, you might have sat down just to get out of the sun, and then move up to get out of the sun. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you sat down and you're not sure why. That's okay. I do the same thing. Uh, but now that you're here, uh, you might be interested. So, uh, if you're just curious, it is the world's best. It isn't cheap, but compared to that health, 
it's a real bargain. And when you compare it to other quality cookware, we don't even cost a thing. So if you would like to take a cup of this, we'll do the free brochure. Uh, learn about the different sets, the prices, and free stuff. Raise your hands on how many you Your own Thomas? Or oh, sure, sure. Yeah. All right. Sure. We'll do this really quick. So, anybody want to keep eating? I'm okay. Oh, you toss my toothpick? You know, I'm going to give you another toothpick. <laughs> Just eat it. <laughs> you kids. Go rub your hands in dirt. And stuff. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right, so this is the brochure I'm going to hand out. You'll notice right away. There's no prices. That's because there's three different ways to get the cookware. You can get it through an in-home party. You get it on our website. You get it here at the show. Here at the show's going to be about 40% off our normal retail price. Please take advantage of that. It's by far the cheapest place to get our cookware. Uh, underneath your brochure is something we lovingly refer to as your prescription for better health. It's an order form. That's how you get the cookware. We don't sell it in stores because it needs to be demonstrated so you understand what's different. I don't want you to be afraid of this, though, Sarah. I don't twist anybody's arm to buy in there. You could probably take me in. Um, if you like what you saw, great. Get it. You're going to love it. It will literally last you forever. You're starting young, so you're going to get even better value out of this. Um, if today isn't your day, don't sweat it. When we're all done, pick the color brochure with you. That's yours to keep no matter what. Uh, please don't steal my clipboards or my pens. They will explode when you get 10 feet away. <laughs> All right, now you can buy individual pieces, but we're going to talk about the sets uh, first because that's your best value. First big box here is called the classic set. Um, the classic set are the pins right here in front of you. Okay. Now that's if you're cooking for one to three. How many are you cooking for typically? Um, I mean, I, I'm working here. Um, it's anywhere from two to six. Okay. Depending. All right. So I would probably bump you up then to the family set. That's the pants here behind me. That's if you're cooking for four or five. Okay. Um, now, if you add those two sets together, your smaller ones, your big ones, that becomes your deluxe set. It's actually our best seller. It's our best value. And then if you add all three boxes from here down, uh, that becomes the work set. Now, the work set includes our bakeware collection. Uh, this is actually the cookie sheet that Mrs. Fields uses in the ball. It is heavy by design. Okay. Uh, actually, our cookware will take a 40 caliber bullet. So you strap a couple of them on. Uh, now, the, the cookie sheet doesn't. The cookie sheet doesn't have the uh, uh, steel inside of it, the cast iron, uh, but the pans would. Um, so, yeah. Heavy by design. All right. Now, you haven't heard of water this cookware, so you've probably never seen my favorite thing you can do with it. It is called stack cooking. So, let's just say it's 95 degrees outside your wood. You have a roast or a turkey to cook. You don't. Uh, oh, oh, you don't need it. I just find any cheese and stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, let's say you have a big pot of gumbo. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> you don't want to run the oven for four hours. Either way. So, take your big stock pot, take your roast pan, flip it over. That becomes a lid. So now you can cook something really big on top of the stove. You got this flat spot though. Let's use it. Take your three quart pan, throw it right on top of there put 10 ears of corn in here standing up straight. You don't need any water, so you can stand them up straight. Okay. Then you take this one, and that becomes another lid. But we got another flat spot. Let's use it. Take your one quart, put it right on top. Peas, carrots, rice, maybe a pineapple upside down cake. You can now make cakes on top of the stove as well. Put all three of those on the same burner. This one will only be about four degrees cooler than that one. Yeah, it transfers the heat straight up. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Holidays come around, you got eight things to cook and only four burners. Yeah, that's a lifesaver right there. Wow, I'm, I'm going to walk around a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm Are we cheap in our ticket? Uh, We're almost okay. done. Okay, no, no. I appreciate it. I just can't sure. see it. hurts my back for such a long time. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to. Yeah. I'm going to walk around while I'm here. I'm going to put my correct on. Thank you for everything. Oh, sure. Thank you. So, um, yeah. 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 Parents, we always should go pretty soon. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Thank you. Now, do you use a slow cooker or a crock pot? No. Okay. Uh, we can do this real quick, too. Um, my least favorite thing about a crock pot is cleaning them. I find them heavy and awkward. Uh, we did something really smart and simple. We separated the two pieces. Four quart pan, use it in the oven, in the stove, whatever. Uh, store it with the rest of the cookware. <laughs> your base plate slides right in your cupboard, doesn't take a whole lot of This will work with all the pans in the classic set. So uh, if you were making something really stinky and you didn't want to cook it in the house, then you fry it out on the deck. Now, speaking of stinking, when we cook in a slow cooker, we can use it to smell it. That's because you're losing moisture. Um, that's why you start with a meatloaf and end up with a meatball by the end of the day. Let's just say I was cooking 
lasagna. Okay. Now you would smell that. Okay, this, whole time. this guy here is called a pan handler. Cooks on all of our pans. Does a couple neat little things. Uh, it'll hold your lid to let the water drip back in to your lasagna that you couldn't tell was cooking. Nice. Isn't that nice? Um, flip your lid around to the back when you're ready to serve. Two little notches here. You stick your utensils in there. You lay them over top of the food instead of laying them on the counter. The less you dirty, the less you gotta clean. Okay. Uh, that's my supper tonight. If you come back around six, you can watch me eat it. <laughs> you got a healthy appetite. I did eat it last night. That was the last thing I did when I cleaned up. I scooped some of that out. Uh, that's actually been on there since about 10:30 this morning. So, all right, so. That's the cookware. Now we do actually have a bigger six quart version of that crock pot. So if, if you really have to cook big in your crock pot, we have a six quart version. Nice tapered bottom so it'll fit on that same base. Okay, so we do have that available as well. All right, let's get to the best part. What does the world's best cookware cost? Uh, have you ever priced quality cookware? Okay, a lot of people haven't. Now for most people, quality cookware is the $200 Walmart set. Uh, you'll be buying that again in two years, I guarantee you. Uh, if you go to Macy's, any of your high-end department stores, uh, you can get Lock for Set, which, like your winery, sounds really fancy in French. Uh, it's made in Korea. Uh, you can get Cathalon, which is actually really durable, but it's anodized aluminum, so you have the aluminum issues. Uh, you can get um, All Clad. Now, uh, this is the William Sonoma catalog. I don't know if you've ever shopped at William Sonoma. Uh, really nice stuff there. All Clad, their Copper Core Set. The big one's 5600 bucks. And again, it'll last you forever. We're getting ten dollar quality food out of six thousand dollar cookware. We're twice the product they are. We should be twice the price. We don't even cost it. So go ahead and grab your pan off your clipboard there, Sarah, and we'll fill in some numbers. Right on here. Yep. You can oh. Yep. That's yours. Oh, okay. All right. So what's that? We're going to tell you. I know you're you're getting ready to write the check, right? <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with the cutter. Uh, now, earlier I compared that to a chainsaw. Sarah, do you know what a good chainsaw costs? Okay, usually four or five hundred bucks. Uh, and the average person uses it once a year when their limb falls down. The uh, kitchen cutter, most families use that two or three times a week. My family actually uses it almost every day, and I'll show you why. Uh, my wife actually put me on a diet about a year and a half ago. Uh, so I'm down 45 pounds. And the big part of it is she doesn't let me eat pasta, which is why I'm eating that while I'm here. <laughs> so, I don't need a lot of pasta anymore. We shred zucchini and use that instead. A lot of cabbage. Um, it works for us. She's actually down about 45 as well, but I'm not allowed to show her picture. <laughs> so, um, we use it a lot. Average family two or three times a week. And it's not 500 bucks like a chainsaw that you never use. It is only 279 Now, the breakfast combo, the next box over. That is our 9-inch egg pan and our greaseless griddle. Pancakes, French toast, grilled cheese. No sprays, all the butter unless you want to. I still make grilled cheese with butter. That's got to be. Cost uh, less than you probably paid for the last two months of internet cable. It's only $3.25. Um, the pork pork gourmet cooker. I assume you have a smartphone. No one. Okay, well then you might be atypical. Because my next question was going to be, when is your smartphone paid for? When? When. It's kind of a trick question. Okay. Most people pay for a smartphone over a two-year period, and then oh, right about the end of the two-year period, suddenly it doesn't work anymore. Imagine that. I call it the upgrade virus. Um, you spend a thousand bucks every other year on a phone. Most people. Uh, gourmet cookie, you buy it once. Okay, we don't make you buy it every other year, and it's a lot. It costs less than your iPhone did five years ago. So it's only three ninety-five. Uh, the big six port that was only four ninety. And then the classic set. Uh, if you bought the classic set at our in-home party, the retail on the in-home party uh, is twenty-seven hundred. It is worth that. People pay that all the time. That's not what you're going to pay here. Yeah. No. Here at the show, our special today, last day of the fair, it is only eighteen ninety-five. You save eight hundred bucks when you buy it today at the show. Heck of a deal. Take advantage of it. Now the family set. That one's twice the capacity, but it's not twice the price. It is only twenty-one ninety-five. And when you add the two together to get the deluxe, you don't have the pricing. If you did, that would be $4,200. Here at the show, our deluxe special, it's only $31.95. You literally save $1,000 when you buy them together. That's why it's our number one seller. Uh, and that's still less than one night stay over here at Costco. And I wish that was different. Uh, now, the work set, I usually compare that to a hot tub. Do you guys have a hot tub? Do you have a hot tub? 
Right. Here's, here's my skinny on hot tubs. Uh, I work a lot of home and garden shows. I see a lot of people drop 5K on a hot tub, and I know most of them in three years are on Craigslist. If you doubt that, look on Craigslist. Most of them say, just come take it off my deck. It's just the reality of it. Uh, our cook work, you're going to use something from that set every single day for the rest of your life. Okay? When you pass on, it doesn't go to Craigslist or Yard Show. You're going to give it to someone you love. They're going to use it the rest of their life. The same price as that big hot tub. It's only $49.95. All right, we made it through pricing. Take a deep breath if you need to. Uh, it's just money we can't take it with us. I wish we could. Uh, but it is also just our health. Uh, how many shots of life do we get? One. Yeah, make a good one. Uh, now, we come to shows. You got, you got bugs. Uh, we come to shows like this to buy nice things for our homes and our families. This is something your family's not only going to enjoy, but they'll benefit from forever. And we do everything we can to make it fit anybody's life. We do a zero interest layaway. You pick the step that makes the most sense for your family. You make a small deposit today. You break the rest into monthly payments. Take as long as you need. Pay as little or as much as you want per month. And when you pay it off, we'll ship it to you. If you want to get it right away, we take all major credit cards. You can do it in one shot or three pay. You pay a third a day. It'll ship right away. Third next month, third the following month. If you cook healthy for two and a half months, you haven't even paid for it. We do take cash or check. Small children, as long as they do chores. Uh, my wife likes fine jewelry. We can work out some sort of a deal. All right, so um, let's talk about everyone's favorite part, free stuff. Who likes free stuff? Who likes the cookware? I assume you do. You're still here. Um, would you agree if you were to cook this way and eat this way, you'd probably be healthier and live longer? When's the right time to start? Tomorrow. Shh. Tomorrow. Yeah, because eat fair food today. You start tomorrow. Uh, all right. Let's get to everyone's favorite part, free stuff. Earlier, I said we used to give this to the host of our in-home parties. We stopped doing that because what we found out people were doing was hosting the party just to get free stuff. So we stopped doing that. Here's what Kitchen Pass is allowing me to do today. Uh, if you can make your decision before I start the next show, again, totally up to you. I don't trust anybody's on. If you like what you saw, if you want to give a set, pick a set, any of the sets, pick any of the payment options, and instead of one person getting a kitchen cutter for free today, uh, every family that gets a set gets a kitchen cutter as a free gift. Heck of a nice gift. $279 value. And the only reason we give that out is because of you. We know you could go online. You could buy the you know, Chinese stuff made by kids in a sweatshop. Uh, or you go to Walmart. We want to say thank you for keeping Pennsylvania Steelworkers employed and the rest of our 9,000 Americans across the country. The best way we can think to do that is to give you our number one selling item as a free gift. It's a heck of a nice gift. All right. So I have one small favor to ask. And I promise we are done. Let's go ahead and flip one over to your prescription for better health there, Sarah. Uh, I love what I do. I hope that came across to you guys, and I love it because I know what I do makes a difference. Uh, if you go on our website, we have literally thousands of testimonies of people who have lost weight, got off medications, changed their lives simply by using our cookware the way it's intended. Um, I also love it because I get to collect what I call longevity testimonies. Uh, these are my top three to date. So I have uh, Barb Holly had 50 years, uh, Pat Tarosi 55, and so far my best one is Dorothy Gaunt, 62 years. Okay. Uh, she bought it 62 years ago, and she paid 250 bucks for it back then. That was half a car back then. Uh, she paid five dollars a week. They were doing what they called hope chests back then, where she collected stuff for when she got married. Uh, she got married. She's cooked on it the last 62 years. Still uses it. Still loves it. There's absolutely nothing I could sell you other than maybe a gun <laughs> that you're going to have 60 years later and still tell me you love it. It just doesn't. So that's why I love what I do. But I do still get graded for what I do. So right here below where it says Kitchen Craft, there's a one-question survey. It simply asks you what most impressed you about what you saw today. Okay? So you can check as many of those boxes as you like. Uh, we want your feedback. So uh, if you like the fact that it's healthier, check that one. You know, if you like the warranty. You know, can you imagine if everything you ever bought came with a forever guarantee? Uh, if you like the chef, check the chef. If you didn't like the chef, check that one twice. <laughs> then I go ahead and put today's date up on the top. This is 8 what? 11. 11. Thank you, Thomas. Yep. And then beside that, you can put my knee. Just turn it down. So you can your knees, sir. You can't figure out how to stop. I was going to say, are we doing this regardless of whether or not? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Um, thank you. Sorry. Sure. Mr. Drayton, can you buy it? You can buy it. You can buy any of them individually. Yeah. And are they all different yeah. They are all different prices. Uh, and the one thing I didn't tell you, we actually have a new combo. So we have this as our breakfast combo. We actually have one that's called the Healthy Start Combo. That's our 9-inch egg pan and our 1-quart pan that we get the veggies in. Uh, those two together are $3.95. And I get a lot of like people that just want to kind of test the waters. That gives you your ability to 
fry up you know, your eggs if you were done. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Or cook your business in progress. So, so yeah, you do have those options. Okay. So what most impressed you though? Oh, uh, all, are we supposed to, we can check all the ones that did, right? You can. Okay. I'm just asking you. Oh, what? Yeah, what most impressed you? Um, probably the, I don't know, all of it. I mean, the health, the health aspect, yeah. the environmental aspect. You did. That's what you want to do. Yeah, of course. I don't, think, I don't think I even told you about our green factory. Uh, we are actually the world's only certified green factory for waterless cooking. Oh, uh, wow. We don't use chemicals in our manufacturing. The yeah. water leaving our factory is cleaner than the water going into it. Um, we have floor to ceiling windows to use natural sunlight, okay. uh, and we pay our workers a decent living wage. Mm -hmm. My thing of gym class, they have like little plants in the middle of the belly. Make them feel thin there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was totally baffled as to why you'd have a griddle in gym class, but... <laughs> You're flipping bean bags, okay. Are you local? Can I ask what individual? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like like the 10-inch like the skillet by itself. Uh, that one is... 309 by itself. Okay. Yeah. Now what's neat? Well, you can't. My, my examples don't help because you don't need me. Uh, but I will tell you. Uh, some, there we go. Well, uh, my team leader, I watched his show a couple weeks ago. And he'll take this pan and he'll put it on here. And uh, he'll take a frozen chicken breast, like rock frozen from his freezer. Put it in there. He'll take a potato, slice it in half, put it flat side down on either side of the chicken. And then chop up a sweet potato and just throw it in there. It's on here for 15 minutes, it doesn't touch it, and it's ready from frozen for 15 minutes. Yeah. So it's really cool. So you could do frozen tofurkey. I've, I've dabbled in vegetarianism, uh, but I, I keep falling back to bacon. I love bacon so much I married it. It's my wife's bacon. Really? Yeah. Crispy bacon. Which she hated that name growing up because she was crispy bacon. The nine inch sauce uh, That one is 179. It is very similar. Uh, Lifetime and Kitchen Craft have both been around over 100 years. We're actually, we predate them. We're the original water store. No, no, Lifetime's still around. Yeah. How long have you had Lifetime? 55 years. Still love it? Still works? Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a lot. So those, yeah, yeah. How much is that one? I think that one's 389. I think. Yeah, 389 on the big scale. Now, here's something. Let's do this. Uh, you said you probably don't really use a gourmet cooker, right? Okay. Uh, typically, when I do my show on the last day, I give a second free gift, and usually I do the gourmet cooker. But, these are roughly the same price. So, if you decided to maybe try the classic set, your kitchen cutter is a free gift thank you from the factory. I will give you a big skillet as a second for you. We can do that. Yeah. Well, I know it can be good. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I mean, that's why we do the way. Right. You literally, we, we don't stipulate how much you have to pay per month. You literally pay what you can when you can. Yep. And what's nice about doing it is you lock in today's prices, you lock in today's free gifts. So, like the classic set, if you went on our website, I think right now is 2200 So you pay about 400 more just for the set, and then you don't get any free gifts. So you're literally like $1,100 positive buying it at the show. Yeah, no, absolutely. I always, I always recommend it for vegetarians because you're limited in your options. 
in some ways. Uh, so you want them to taste as good as you can. And when you cook them waterless, they're going to taste the best as they're ever going to. So, unless you're eating them raw. Right. Are you a raw vegan? I'm not. Okay. My aunt is. I wish wow. I had that control. <laughs> so how many in your family are vegan? Uh, my mom is and my sort of boyfriend is coming in. Sort of. <laughs> he's sort of is or he's sort of a boyfriend? Both. Or both? Okay. <laughs> Was both, now it's sort of both. Okay. Um, uh, just really fast. I would like them to replace like, the pan that you normally cook in. Sure. This is a lot smaller, but that's more what I can afford right now. Well, the, 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 sock, the big sauce head, the big 12 inch sauce head, mm-hmm. uh, that one's $2.59. Oh, that, so, oh. Yeah, so this one's 389 because it, it's got more design issues with create my lip and the weird. So the sautés are cheaper. Is that what's on it? It does not. No. No, the sautés don't. Oh. Now, if you had both of them together, the lids do kind of set on top. So, you know, like if you were, you know, trying to melt cheese or something that you need to keep the heat in, you can, you know, these will set on top. But they don't create that same seal like they do in the pans. Three eighty nine on the twelve inch scale. Yeah. That thing, you can cook almost anything in that. Yeah. It's, it's huge, and you got the, the lid so you can do your waterless veggies. Price them. Yeah, absolutely. With the layaway, uh, you put 15% down, so you wouldn't even have to do it all today. Let me tell you what that is. I'd probably go down and just pay it all Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you from doing that. Um, but just for FYI, it would be 50, 59 bucks now. This will be your go-to pan. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, and actually, I'll even sweeten it slightly. Anyone who gets something today doesn't go home empty-handed. Because uh, this will ship to you. We'll ship it to you. Oh, okay. Right? You don't have to carry it around the train. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to give you a little set of kitchen shears. Um, there are certain things that just don't cut with a knife. I like these kitchen shears. So I'll give you a little set of those. Uh, you're going to get our newsletter, which does talk about the healthy aspects of cooking in our stuff. And also, that's our factory, our, our green okay. factory. So you learn about that. Uh, but you're also going to get my personal contact information. Okay. So if you have any questions whatsoever, if you call me, uh, that's what I'm here for. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, if you bought a $400 pan from William Sonoma, the guy's going to shake your hand and say thank you very much. And that's it. Uh, you're going to have my personal contact info. So you call me, you text me if you have any questions. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate that. Uh, and, uh, actually, it's for the address, but I want to show you. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't do P.O. boxes. Okay. No. Does someone have to be on the side for Nope. Thing? Nope. How is it that your whole family was raised vegan and sliced vegetarian? So, so my mom and dad were both vegan. They're both vegan for that, actually. Okay. Um, That's and cool. uh, my dad passed away a couple years ago. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, just... Yeah. Uh, Not to be annoying, but was it, like, health-related or accident? No, it was um, it was more ethical than anything. My dad, it was a combination of reasons. A lot of it was, like, the world hunger, social justice issues. Okay. okay. As well as the animals. Um, and my mom was, uh, she was a like, rehabilitator from age 17. Oh, so wow. she realized she was, you know, wrapping a bird's wing and then going to eat chicken wings. And why right. are you doing why this do that? Sure. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was, that, was that for her. My dad was like, a combination reason. Okay. He was actually a registered dietitian and he was a tour and all taking up on the family side. Yeah, I actually, uh, I have a degree in environmental management. Oh, uh, okay, right. I've never really used it much, but uh, that did prompt me to look into vegetarianism for a while. And, 
we tried it for a while, but that's great. Yeah, it's and it's like so much easier now because there's like well, yeah, now there's a lot of options. Yes, um, and you, you can get somewhat decent tasting veggie burgers now. And yeah. Like so, oh my gosh, have you had the Impossible Burgers and Beyond Burgers? I, uh, I've heard about the Impossible one, the, the one at Burger King. Yep. Yeah, is it actually good? Oh, it's probably good. Is it? Um, the only thing is if you want it like truly vegan and not to cook it where the meat is, they just microwave right. it. So that's right. not as good. Oh, yeah, that's not as good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the burger sounds amazing. Okay, yeah, no, uh, my son's girlfriend is vegetarian and she oh, was all nice. excited about the, uh, the Impossible Burger. But I tend to go there and then I get suckered into the dollar tacos. <laughs> they're actually really good. <laughs> they are. Great. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. That's fine. 